Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox controller on over to your Steam Deck so you can play games from maybe a couch when you have it connected to a TV. So let's press Steam and then go on down to Settings right here and then go to Bluetooth and then go right. Now when you have Bluetooth turned on, it's going to automatically start searching for devices. So go to your Xbox controller and turn it on and then you have to press the Sync button. So I have my Xbox controller turned on. Now, if you just turn on, it's still going to try to connect to your Xbox. So you're probably going to have to forget the device from there or simply unplug the Xbox so it doesn't connect to it. But then at the top here, there's this little button we can just press down. And this is going to put it into the sync mode. So just on the top, sync mode. Boom, it's flashing a lot. Let's go back to my Steam Deck. And there is my Xbox controller down here. Let's go and select it with A. And I have my Xbox wireless controller connected. You can see, I can see the battery life. Then also my Xbox wireless headset and my AirPods. So a lot of things are connected via Bluetooth. It's very easy to do. Now, if you want to uh, look at these or quickly connect them, you can press the button with the three little dots on it and open up the quick settings on the right side here. If we go down to this section, we can see our Bluetooth devices, Wi-Fi, airplane mode. And we can connect a device on here quickly as well. All we have to do is select it and it's going to bring us to the same page. Now you can select uh, your Xbox controller and you can forget it and then reconnect it back to your Xbox very easily. If you just go to disconnect, this is going to turn off the controller. And by default, I believe the controller is going to turn off after five minutes. So if we go on down to controller and look at the idle gamepad shutdown time, this is five minutes right here. Otherwise, what you can do is just go to your Xbox controller and hold down the Xbox button right here for about 10 seconds, and this will turn off your controller manually. Otherwise, if you do have batteries in it, you can just flip it around and take out the batteries, but on my Elite controller, there is no option. So you can see my controller is turned off. This is very convenient when you have it connected to your phone. So very easy to do, guys. Hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you guys out. Did leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.